Oh my god, okay. I just destroyed that Teemo. That's disgusting. This guy is so diveable. Mm. Okay, there's like four top. Nice. Hey, how's it going, guys? JC here. Welcome to the Bronze Diamond episode. And today we'll be playing Tom Kench Top with Ignite Hail of Blades. I think Ignite's really good, especially because our ult just gets us back to lane if we can survive till 6th anyway. So, Corrupting Potion will be fine. And yeah, we're up against Jax this time. I played quite a bit of Tom Kench and just got. I'm thinking I'm getting the hang of it, but I did lose all my games, which is really sad. I don't think I did too badly. It's just that. I can't really take towers myself, and to play in team fights is like, oh, absolutely dreadful. So I'm getting righteous glory pretty early on, so that I can actually function in team fights as well. And yeah, this Vi has a plan that she wants to take red and go to top lane. So we'll see what we can do. Not sure if it's going to work. Like I have to land my Q for it to work, and also Jax has to fight me back, which I doubt he will. One more tongue lash. Okay, and now it looked like I leashed from blue because I'm going to walk from this bush into lane. Okay. So we'll go up for CS. Okay. Well, we got a flash out of him. I guess that works. Jax's counter strike makes it so he pushes me in first. Oh, damn. Okay, let's pop another potion here. Jax is actually ahead of us in potions. I don't really want to trade with him unless he does something crazy. Like his counter strike's down. I couldn't reach him. Okay, let's just not go too crazy in terms of trading. Unless he wants to trade into my minion wave. But then he has counter strike, so it's really forgiving for him. Oh, I hit him. Wow, okay. That's a Talia Flash. This is really rough for me. Oh, okay, nice. Beautiful. Uh, Jack's TP back. I can't stay. I'll have to lose this wave. If I stay, it's pretty silly. So let's work towards the Sunfire here. 
And let's see, against this team, I definitely want to get Ninja Tabbies because they are auto attack based except for Talia, which I'll get Adaptive Helm for, for Talia and Kogmo. So that is my plan. Usually you want to get Spirit Visage, but against specific champions like these guys, definitely get a Adaptive Helm because you'll be pretty invincible against them if you buy that item. So yeah, unfortunately we weren't 6 when we went back. I couldn't just ult back to lane. I missed a lot. Uh, but yeah, nothing we could do about that. I mean, it got us a double kill, so I'd say it's still better than TP. Because imagine just dying and losing a whole wave instead of getting Ignite and a double kill. And also, top has no sums. That auto range, okay, what? Hello? Alright, nice. We have our ult now, so let's see if we could roam. Hmm, okay, never mind. Wait, why is that pushing towards him? Oh, I did not push it in the whole way. Somehow he froze it. Okay, that's really bad for me. I was expecting Lane to push back. So this guy's been freezing it with Counter-Strike or something. He's been doing something cheeky. Okay. That didn't even do damage to him. Oh my god, I got baited so hard. Uh. Well, I actually had flash up, so she could have just Q flashed and guaranteed the knock up. I guess I'll ult back to lane then. But that's a really big shutdown. And also if I die for free as well. That might have cost us the game, I feel. It's gonna be really hard to come back. Okay, nice. We got most of the CS. One for one at bot lane. I think late game I can't beat Jax. Once he gets items, you just can't beat him. Especially because Jax has his counter strike and then he'll just use his R after that. It's gonna be really rough. Okay, so Leah's at bot right now. I need to hit level 8 and then I'll try to fight him with Ignite. So this is why I get Bami Cinder, is for that reason alone, I can wave clear a lot easier. Imagine how long it would have taken me to order every single minion there. Okay, we pushed it in, and we lost bot tower, so... <sighs> Another brutal game. I literally lose every single game as Tom Kench. I'm gonna get demoted as straight. Okay, so Sunfire, Tabbies, and after that I'll probably get Righteous into Adaptive Helm. 
Or maybe I should just get some magic resist first. Like, I might get a Spectre's Cow early. So Tabby's into Spectre's Cow and then Righteous. I just need a little bit of MR, especially because it helps against Jax anyway. His W is magic damage. And also his ult. I'm not sure what Vi is planning. Mercy has no I search for bargains wherever fools cross my domain. Huh? That's never gonna work. Oh, okay. Oh. oh, it doesn't have ult. Oh, I got taxed there. Yeah, I can't push this fast enough. And looks like Hogmore's up here now. I'll send my bot lane over. What's Zed doing? Okay, I guess I'm mid then. I know that Vi wanted to go for Quinn. But Vi had no ult, so she would have just died for free. She would have just gotten kited, and then Hogmore would finish her off. Okay, I might be able to ult bot. Nice, has ult. Beautiful. Really, really good. Thank goodness. I need to get into the habit of using my potions really actively. Like, I'm playing so much Trindomir to the point where I only use my potions after I ult. So once I ult and I check to use my potion, because it's more efficient that way. Okay, let's just get out of here. But yeah, this Ignite has been helping me so much this game. Actually insanely good. So I'm going to work towards a Adaptive. And then after that we'll pick up Righteous Glory. Righteous is going to help us get on targets so we don't just get kited all day. Like if they try to run away from us, they won't get away. I'm going to use my ult again and hopefully join a team fight of some sort. Talia 7 1. Jesus. I know that Jax is holding tower, so I'm going to go and see if I could port over. I guess I don't need to port, I'll just walk over. Yeah, top tower's gone. Looks like it's another one sided game again. The problem with these one sided games is I can't take towers with this champion. Uh, I can 1v1, but the thing is, if my team's losing this hard, I can't really 2v1 since Tom's kit is all single target damage. So it's really rough. Port over somewhere. Oh, she went that way. Okay, nice. Got an assist for it. But yeah, we can be pretty much like a TF, we're just all over the place. And also we can beat anyone in a 1v1, at least for the most part. Okay, I would love to be pushing this tower right now. Okay, so Quinn's over there, this is kind of safe-ish, but not really. Talia's over there. Oh, 
Oh, really? That is so annoying. Yeah, I literally can't do anything. Like, I would love to, as Trinomir, just walk up and spin out. That's it. But as Tom, like, even though I feel like it's really safe, and then I back out pretty early, I guess Talia has her wall, so I shouldn't even consider going for tower. That's why I'm so hesitant to hit towers. But at least we get something here. It's just that we're going to lose our inhib at the moment. If they keep pushing. So yeah, we'll pick up Righteous Glory here. Or at least components of it. Oh my god, did we just lose? We just lost the game. What? Jesus. Okay, I think I'm done with this Tom Kench. I'm actually getting demoted. I literally get demoted this game. Unfortunate. But yeah, guys, I don't think I'm going to play Tom Kench. It's just that, I don't know, I think I'm just unlucky. I don't feel like it's a champion. I feel like I'm just getting really unlucky with these games. And in order for me to win, I have to just hard carry. So I need a champion that can actually just grab the game by the neck and just hard carry. Because I can't rely on my teammates. I actually have to win lane really hard and then also spread the impact either through split pushing or through just like killing people by roaming but it's too one-sided this game oh i'm so scared to even see stats i think i get demoted oh i don't get demoted okay so i think <laughs> unfortunate game but it's going to happen guys we're gonna hit some roadblocks on the way i mean in terms of damage we did pretty well in terms of going full tank as well and doing pretty high on the damage, like, that's what Tom Kench is all about, it's just the 1v1s, and to be really oppressive in lane. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't work out, just because our team lost really hard, but it was like this for the last five games, so I played six Tom Kench games, and all of them were fail. They're all pretty similar to this, very honestly, like, I would win lane really hard. I'll try to be in team fights, but you just get blown up so hard, like, my team just loses, actually loses every time. But yeah, better luck next time, so... Remember, so be sure to comment down below which champion you want to see in the next episode, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Cheers.